Maureen, this is your host, Beacon TV, getting you there. As you can see right now, we have uh, we are at Pioneer, we just had a, a dialogue, uh, we had some activities just to keep the Women Day active, and thus we had uh, under Ministry of Gender and Women Affairs, we were partnering with a number of NGOs. To those out there who are watching and probably following this TV, my name is Harriet Adol, and I'm the Executive Director, as she said, stated for Foundation for Integrated Development. We're a community-based organization that supports women and girls in northern Uganda, a post-conflict community that is struggling and has been struggling um, with the aftermath of the war for the last 20 years. And for us, as we join hands with the university students to commemorate the International Women's Day, it's a pleasure for us. It's the first of its kind because it's not been done here before. So Harold, as a, uh, a lady of your caliber, you've been to so many places. Maybe you'd highlight for us the places you've been to and why you were there as a woman. Wow. <laughs> ah, that's very interesting. As a, <laughs> as a woman, I've been in, in so many places, uh, globally, in Europe, in Africa. Um, I've been to different countries. Uh, most of these places have been for advocacy. For women's health rights, particularly SRHR for the young women and the young girls in post-conflict communities. As we know, the context here, there's a lot of issues of child marriage, issues of teenage pregnancy. So at that space of global, gov of global advocacy, it's mostly to let the world know what is exactly happening here. But also it's been part of my studying as well. Yes, uh, studying gender and human rights. Uh, in the University of the UN University under the Iceland University. Mm -hmm. So, but I've also been uh, different places to to learn to facilitate to become a facilitator yes. in human rights education. Yes. So I've been in different places. If I count country mm -hmm. by country, it's gonna be yeah. like it's a long list. Yes. But at least mm -hmm. I can say I'm one of the blessed girls, if I could say, from the grassroots in the community that has been affected by war to have the opportunity to speak for women and girls mm -hmm. to bring the voice of the voiceless at that space yeah. um of course it's challenging it's not very easy because literally when you're coming from the grassroots nobody thinks you bring something to the table advocacy most times it's taken at the global and the national level but all i know is from my experience um young people's voices from the grassroots are very important mm. and young women at that at the grassroots mm. their voices feed into the national and the global yeah, because advocacy. They're the ones with the real problem exactly yeah. so for me that's what i do yeah. and that's why i've been in these different spaces at the un uh spaces i've been mm. at the civil society advocacy space that is at the global level but also as a human rights activist from the grassroots perspective. So I think it's important, and that's why I always come back home mm -hmm. to the young people, to and the young women, really so because this is where I belong. Yes. And I have so, the tour, yeah. So yeah, thank you. Uh, this is my last question to you, Madam Harriet. As the CEO of FIRE, yes. what, do you, what impact do you think you have so far created, and what vision do you have, and what effect do you think FIRE will do for the ladies or the females down here in the district? Uh, we've done a lot of work, pretty much. We've started, we started our work since 2005. Mm -hmm. So we've done a lot of work. We've empowered women, given women, over 2,000 women, like uh, startup, startup capital, yeah. for women to begin into Business, their businesses. Yeah, because yeah. economic empowerment is one of our areas. So we've done that for mm -hmm. even young girls. Recently, we just gave some girls who are, we set, we not set, we, we help them out of, uh, we Stretching set them, them free okay. from the bondage of child marriage. Oh. Been a lot of work at the grassroots, yeah. and um, it's of recent now we're thinking then how do we support young girls in science, and that's how Akona Girls was birthed because innovation. Yeah. We know young girls and young women are very creative. True. You're bright, mm -hmm. as you can hear me, you are bright, you yeah. can do something. Mm -hmm. And so this space comes in to create an innovative space where girls can 
use their skills and make something yeah. for social change because exactly. we know girls can. Yeah. And I think that's a survival in a world where we are looking forward to economic development. We need tangible things. Yes. As people, we have so many creative ideas in the mind, but you no know, creativity, there's a difference between creativity and imagination. If yes. you only imagine and you do nothing, yes. you're not creative. And if creativity counts innovation, if innovation yeah. counts economic development, yeah. and that is it. Yeah. So, so Harry, uh, it's been nice having you. Uh, what last word do you have for the ladies out there, especially the ladies of Leo University and also the community out there that are watching? Yeah. One to the women in the community or the young girls in the community. You have a gift, you have an ability to create change. And do not undermine yourself because you're a woman of diversity, but you're a woman who can bring change to your very community. Harriet, uh, mm -hmm. it's been such a wonderful conversation and it's an empowering one. Well, today in, uh, we joined the world in celebrating Women's Day with a global theme of an, an, an equal world is an enabled world. So as women, we should look forward to being that special person. Find out that unique thing in you and stand up for it, like she says. Be the change you want to see. Sometimes you might wait for opportunities and they will not come. Then to the gents outside there, always look forward to being a special man in a woman's life. Well, Harriet, it's been nice having you. As Lira University, we shall always look forward to partnering with FAD and we see that we cause change as the university, the community outside there, alongside FAD Innovation um, FAD. That is Atena called girls Atena girls and the, girl, um, the friends of girls. Friends of girls. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so I think it's very, we're glad to be here and we want to thank the university management as well for giving us the space to talk to the girls. Yeah. Thank you. It's been nice hearing from you. <laughs> this you. is Beacon TV, getting you there.